Hi Bethel and happy Holy Week. I hope that you and your family and those around you are finding ways to just reflect and prepare for the good news of this weekend as we look forward to celebrating and worship um, the death of Christ, but also his resurrection and the hope that we have in him. We have a few things going on in this video. Um, at the end, we're going to give some important information about our services. But first, we want to share with you a word from Arnie Steenbergen, who's uh, currently the chair of our governing elders. Hello, Bethel. My name is Arnie Steenbergen. I'm the chair of the governing elders here at Bethel. And I'm here to talk about where do we go from here now that Tom is leaving. We've been blessed for many years with, with Tom as a, as a lead pastor, and he's, he's, he's definitely best plus Bethel, but we now have to move on to the next step. And we started with looking at our mission, our vision, and our dream for Bethel, and um, trying to figure out um, how to best how to best figure out our staffing in the coming years and, and what God has in mind for us at Bethel. The governing elders had a special meeting to review our, our dream for Bethel and, and uh, we are now meeting as a full council to get the input from the elders and deacons on what to do. If you would like your input into how you feel we should move on with staffing at Bethel, please uh, send an email to the governing elders at discoverbethel.com and please pray. We, we would like everyone to pray and, and we will ascertain what God's plan is for Bethel, and we will pray that God sends us the right people to, to staff our, our church. Thank you. So I hope you heard that, and you do hear this call to pray, that we all in this season that we find ourselves really do need to pray and get around this vision for what God is doing in us as a church in Bethel. So please hear um, Arnie's words and the council. Please pray for the council as they reflect on these decisions and as they look ahead to what, where God's going to lead us as a church. Now this week, like I said, is we're getting ready for worship, some important information about worship. So the first thing is that we are celebrating worship on Good Friday. It's going to be in the morning, an online-only service at 10 a.m., Good Friday, on April 2nd. And we're also going to be celebrating communion as part of that service. Uh, we have some wonderful things planned for reflecting on the death of Christ through specifically the Gospel of Matthew. I think it's going to be great and ending with a celebration. So please um, I would encourage you to get together with family and join us for worship on Friday morning. Now, Friday is the setup for Easter on Sunday, April 4th this year. And we are so excited to celebrate that with you. And as part of that celebration, we're actually shifting towards having two services in person and live streamed, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on April 4th. And if you want to come in person, we ask that you do please register to attend before and you can go online and register. There's still spots available as I'm making this video right now. And we would love to see you and welcome you. And as part of those services, but even if you're just going to be joining online and not in person, we do want to put together this neat sort of community project as a church where we have an Easter cross. A cross, we're going to put it outside. And as you come to church, we would encourage you, if you can, to bring some flowers to decorate the cross with. You're going to be given some help with this. And if you forget your flower or are not able to bring flower, we'll provide some for you. But we want to, as a church, decorate this cross as a kind of a community art project to symbolize our hope in the resurrection, our hope in the new life we have in Jesus and that that's going to just shape us. We're going to just capture this and remember this and use this as a symbol for what Easter is really about. Because it's about celebrating that Jesus has come back again and we have new life. So again, register to attend beforehand for in-person services, 9 and 11 a.m. Um, bring flowers if you can, or at least participate. If you're not coming in person and you just want to drive by and decorate this cross with your family, have something that you could actually do as a family please do it. Just You could come by um, and then go on back home and then you can just join us for worship online. That's great. Um, but please know that we're excited to worship with you this weekend. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us so we can just help you know what to expect. May God's grace and peace be with you this weekend and we'll see you soon.